together and stand strong not only for Israel, but for the world with what's going on around us. I stand before you today as a survivor of a terrorist attack 12 years ago in Israel. When an 18-year-old terrorist boarded the bus I was on and detonated, injuring over 100 of us and murdering 16 innocent people, including everyone seated and standing around me. I still today stand with those memories of what happened that day as if they happened yesterday. And although I did write a speech here for the crowd, I actually am going to just speak from the heart because with everything that has gone on in the last 10 days, that's what we need to hear right now. Over the last 10 days, we've seen terrorism in Paris, in Beirut, in Mali, and in Israel. And it's not stopping. Yeah. And something has to happen to stop the terrorism. Arm the people. We're watching innocent people, innocent civilians like you and me, who are doing their regular things that everybody does during the day. And instead, they're being taken away in body bags, as if lives don't matter. All of our lives matter. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us around the world. Right and we all need to come together, everybody in this country and around the world, to show that we will not stand for the terrorism that is infecting our world. That's right. I watched this morning the funeral of the 18-year-old American who on Thursday night was murdered just by going out to do a good deed. He wasn't fighting in a war. He wasn't in the army. He was going to bring food and packages to soldiers who were protecting innocent civilians. And I watched and I cried. I cried for a world where, no, where people have no value for human life. Where it doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing, that everybody can be impacted by terrorism. I definitely never thought it would happen, and many people directly impacted by terrorism around the world do not think it can happen to them. But it can. So what can we do? This is a rally. There are people around here that aren't even a part of the rally. We need to leave here today and not just make like nothing has happened. We can't let the media just say, okay, Paris happened, Beirut happened, Mali, Israel, and the list goes on.